Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel called The Coupon King. In today's video, I will be doing a couponing stockpile tour for you guys. And, um, there's a lot of stuff, so I want to show you. And a couple things before we get into this video. I've been couponing for three years. I'm 14 years old, so this is what a 14-year-old couponer, um, has accomplished over the years. And, uh, I do donate i do uh resell sometimes and then i do also give the family so i don't have everything that you see here like i just have so much more i probably have double than what i have right now if i kept it all in my stockpile but without further ado let's jump straight into the video so first let's start off this first shelf right here so up at the top i have some disinfecting wipes i keep all my baggies right here i'm gonna get more at walgreens this week then some paper plates and paper cups coming down here is where i keep my other disinfecting wipes and then in here i do have some era magic clean erasers sponges and some bar soap and then all right here is my dish tabs my Febreze car clips, more bar soap all right there. Then this is where I keep my hand soap and my hand sanitizer, as you can see right there. Then down here is my hand soap and cleaner area. So we got some Method, some Lysol. Uh, we got some more Lysol toilet bowl cleaner in the back. All this hand soap, no, dish soap, my bad. All the Game and Dawn Power Wash last Power Blast. None Elements right there in the back. So that is that shelf. Then down here, I have some duct tape. And then my Armor All. Some Drano, some Moxie. More foaming hand soap. And another all-time purpose cleaner. So that is the first shelf of the stockpile. Okay, my second shelf is where I keep my oral care, my trial and travel section, my shaving, and then some random stuff at the top. So starting at the bottom, this is where I keep my toothbrushes, my flossers, as you can see I do have quite a lot, and then my toothpaste. Who's a couponer without having toothpaste in their stockpile? As you can see, it's like to the very top. So I do have a lot. And then um, back here is my mouthwash. So I don't have too much, but I do have some, as you can see. And then up at this shelf, I have some of these Depend uh, silhouettes, some post-it notes. This is my trial and travel area. Uh, it goes like three back. I don't know it's kind of dark but you can see right there and then this is where i keep my pens and then my pencils and some random makeup products for my mom and then up here is where i keep my tissues and then razors these are all my razors i have more cleaner uh this is shaving gel so this whole bin full is shaving gel some random things and then this whole thing is full of razors as well and then in the back of that is where we have some uh gift sets that i got at walmart or target and as you can see it goes all the way back there i got some old spice some cremo some O'Keeffe, and stuff like that then up at this shelf we have a air fryer and then I got 19 notebooks. They're only 10 cents from a dollar. You cannot pass that up. And then these are paper towels. As you can see, they do go back right there. So that is the second shelf of the couponing sock pile. Next is my little sock of Bath and Body Works. So up at the top is hand soap and then some mini hand sanitizers. Coming at the bottom with my men's products some fragrance mist and then down here is my body lotion and then like the body shower gel and then down here is my candles so that is that stock as you can see it's quite a lot kind of not really <laughs> but this is the next part of my stockpile 
this part is probably my favorite or one of my favorites it is the paper products shelf and as you can see yes it goes way to the top so i got like bounty charmin viva calling out all the brands you can think of and then if i'm tall enough you can see it does go kind of back of there and then i got a quilted northern a lonely pack of pull-ups and then some more cottonell so this is quite a lot and then it does go back here as well as you can see okay so that is my paper product stock of my stockpile next is these shelves right here yes i have so much so let's start so up at the top is my overflow stock of pads and liners that i keep stock for um my family and then light bulbs right there coming down here is all the quiet and roar that were 90 percent off at target then right over here is body wash as you can see it does go quiet back so we have all sorts of brands same with shampoo which is right here it goes all the way back as well so that's that and then down here is where i keep my conditioners so as you can see it does go quite back on that as well all this ogx my stylers and then lotions as you can see it goes back on that as well so that is that coming down here is my deodorant so as you can see my dry spray body spray all right there women's deodorant and men's i am trying to stock up on more so I am kind of diminishing on deodorant, which is not good. And then in my overflow body wash, which is all right here. And then right here is my facial care uh, that I keep stock of. So Clean and Clear, Olay, Dickinson's, Olay, more Olay, Dove, sprays like that, and some uh, sunscreen. And then at the bottom is where I keep my air fresheners well my one part my air fresheners so these are all like small spaces as you can see it does go quite to the top and then down here are some random more air fresheners they're kind of like all christmas scents because you know they clearance them out and then here's my air sprays then some medicine right here all these cough drops that we've been getting for a quarter at Walmart because they're a dollar seventy-five cent. I bought it. You can't pass that up. And as you can see, uh, these go to the bottom. So I mean, they're overflowing. And then more air fresheners right here, and then some renews it cones at the bottom. And then this is my bargain bin for when I'm gonna have a stockpile sale. These are either things we don't use or things that have expired. So um that is okay, that next shelf is quite a lot so we're just gonna do you know all that all that coming down here all that and then right there so i am gonna show you everything that i have on this shelf so i have a lonely baby formula right there then right here is where i keep all my clairol hair color or other hair color and none of my family dyes their hair, and I don't either. So, um, I'm probably just going to sell, like, I don't know, all 20 of them or something on Facebook Marketplace. I don't really know, but we have a lot. Then wipes right here, candles, more air fresheners. They go to the bottom. More air fresheners right here also go to the bottom. And I did get these from Dollar Tree, these uh, baskets, pretty good quality, in my opinion. So that's that. Right here is some overflow um, air fresheners and then bath poofs. So that's that. Then some overflow oatmeal, aluminum foil, pads. Down here is some more candy and other random Christmas stuff. And then... Uh, pet food and then down here is like queen v and then honey pot and all that stuff that we've been getting really really cheap at walmart or free or a money maker and as you can see it does go all the way to the bottom so a lot of that 
and I told you guys that up there, that other shelf was my overflow of pads, and yeah, um, as you can see, this is why. Go all the way to the bottom. There's so much. Same with this one. Another bin full goes down to the bottom again. And then we got some more right there. So the second to top shelf and then the top shelf is my food stock. So I'm going to show you all that. So right here is where I keep some cereal. Uh, I don't know if you can really see that. Yeah, it goes all the way down there. And then uh, just my other food, like pasta chips, a lot of oatmeal, more pasta, more pasta, um, some rice, and then some other snacks and treats and seasonings like that. And then coming over here is the can rotator. This will be filled up one day, <laughs> but we have some diced tomatoes, the free hair they salsa we've been getting, and other stuff like that. Up at the top shelf is some more cereal, obviously. As you can see, I have a lot, but that is not all of it, I know. Kind of bad. And then, um, some other food, sauce, pumpkin. Okay, and then coming over here, Cheez-Its. And yes, all of this cereal. Every cereal brand you can think of. Yep, we got a lot in seasonings. So yeah, that is a lot. <laughs> and that is the whole uh, shelf of this stockpile. Then the last area is my laundry stock, which is my favorite. Can never be too stocked up on laundry. So let's start. So up here is where I have some big laundry detergent, some all, as you can see, it goes to the back. I'm not really that tall. There you go. Then down here is where I keep all my pods. And I don't know why that's there, but whatever. But yeah, so Ty, Gain, Arm & Hammer, everything you can think of. These are the big ones that we get too. Yeah, like so much. Okay. Then down here is where I keep my dryer sheets. All these are scent boosters. And then back there is fabric softener. And then down here is overflow. So we got nine elements and then more overflow laundry detergent. I have a lot, which is awesome. And there is one more shelf of it. So let me show you that. So here is the second and last shelf of the laundry. And let's start at the top. So this stuff right here is stuff that we are using right now. And then down here, more laundry detergent. So all, Persil, Gain, uh, Draft Laundry Stain Remover. More all down at the bottom. And then some uh, fabric spray. A lot of, oh, oh my goodness. A lot of, um... What are those called? Fabric spray stain removers. And then we got two big snuggles right there. And then down at the bottom is more scent boosters, more scent boosters, and more scent boosters. And then some Carbona. By the way, these work really, really good. If you haven't tried these, try them. They work really good to get stains out. And then um, some all, like trouble size i have a lot i know um i was trying to keep it quick because i could be here for an hour talking about my stockpile of uh, uh, anywho um i'm just gonna show you now a like quick recap of everything probably in fast motion without me talking in it so let's just jump into that I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up as well as subscribe down to my channel. 
it really helped me out and i just want to say guys thank you so much for 300 subscribers this is awesome and uh we're coming so far so i'm very thankful for you all and if you have a comment just leave it in the comment box and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye guys